first time in over 10 days, we have rain to talk about. It's been rather dry over this last week and a half. Things are looking a little wetter tonight. Not really picking up much for rainfall. Anything you see on radar right now might be just enough to wet the pavement, wet the grass a little bit, but that is about it. So no real impacts here on your morning drive to work tomorrow. These showers should sweep through by midnight. After that, mainly cloudy and a lot warmer. Staying in the 50s tonight, partly because of that cloud cover, helping keep some of the heat around. So we're not going to talk about the 40s or the 30s for at least tonight. That's coming later this week. As we go into tomorrow, starting out in the 50s, warming into the 60s to 70s from there. And as you can see in the middle of the afternoon, that's when we have some rain shower activity back. Also seeing winds pick up, looking somewhat breezy as some colder air blows in. That colder air is still over Canada now. Current weather system will sweep by us, really not affect our temperatures much. It's this cold front that really drops things later on this week and also could spark some scattered showers, possibly even a couple rumbles of thunder going into tomorrow afternoon. So here we are at about 2.30 tomorrow, seeing that spotty activity develop ahead of the cold front. And note there's these little pockets of potentially heavy rainfall or a couple little rumbles of thunder. For the most part, our area will see scattered light showers, but don't be surprised. Again, if you hear a rumble of thunder, of course, get indoors as quickly as possible as you hear that. Once we get beyond tomorrow evening, the weather should dry out pretty quickly. May have one last little round of showers by 10, but then after that, sunshine returns on Friday. But what does it return? is the temperatures, so we drop plenty at the end of the week. So as you plan your day out, dry start to the day, even a little sunshine possible in the morning, mid-afternoon, looking at a chance for some showers, and then we're drying out going into the evening. And overall, temperatures still near 70 tomorrow, but then we drop 20 degrees going into Friday with a slow rebound from there. So we're already backed into the 70s by early next week, so we don't necessarily lose those 70s long term. Now these cooler temperatures may help accelerate the changeover to brilliant fall color. A lot of that's still taking place to our north, especially in northern Wisconsin as they're near peak uh, color as at this point might take until middle to late October for us to reach that stage. But if you want to see some fall leaves change color, may head north for the weekend is have a better bet there. For us, by the time we get to the weekend, a little cool to start, only 59 for a high on Saturday, but the 60s are back on Sunday. Next week, 70s are back by Tuesday. Could see more showers on Wednesday, and that's ahead of another transition in your most accurate 10-day forecast. The weather does drop again. We're back down into the 50s towards the end of next week, so we're definitely on a roller coaster. Warm tomorrow, dropping from there, and then back up again by early next week before another plunge occurs. Uh, now the warm-up today, we managed to stay on the dartboard, but we got close closer to the edge. Cash total up to 130 as we've managed to hit the forecast 10 days in a row, Brittany. All right, that jackpot still growing, Alex. Thanks.